Mark Anthony mentioned off the top of the show, TIFF is a very busy time in Toronto, and I know you had a suite, and you were doing all the celebs as they came in and out of town. So we thought we would recreate some of the, the, the big hairdos that we saw that were really lovely as they came in and out of Toronto. So many stars. It's a fun time for us to do some stargazing. So we thought we'd start with Julia Roberts. Yeah, you know what? It, it was so fantastic. I love, you know, we do so many red carpets uh, around the world, Hollywood, and whatever, but I love this. TIFF is like it's home, right? It's, yeah. And it's such a great Canadian event. And the celebrities here, they're just, they're so much more approachable, friendly. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate to work with a lot of the, the great stars in the films. And some of my favorites, um, starting with Julia Roberts and a couple others that we're going to show today. But, you know, with our first look, this is a variation on the take of what Julia Roberts wore. Which, of course, Julia is always so beautiful. She is. She Classic. well, she had the million-dollar smile, right? Gorgeous smile, but she's always had really beautiful hair. So when she was in Toronto, uh, you can see the picture of her now. She had it back in a very loose, sort of messy bun. And we have been talking about this look for a while because it's something that's very accessible for people. And obviously, it's now red carpet doable, right? Yeah, and you know what? It's it, the thing is that it's easy enough for you to do at home. Yeah. All you really need to do is is just use like a beach spray or a waving lotion yeah. and really give some texture to your hair. Pull it back into a ponytail, really, really simple, and then just clip it up into a bun. You can be as messy as you like. That's what I love about these styles today. They're more refreshing, they're more modern, when the pieces are actually falling out and nothing is really perfect. Yes. You know, this is a look that suits most face shapes. Mm -hmm. You can do this with most hair types. You just need to have enough length and, and it's a great look for the upcoming holiday season. Oh, absolutely. It's even great for like, you know, a summer wedding, yes. an outdoor wedding. It's just so beautiful. And, you know, Jenna, our model here, had yeah. some short bangs, so we did a, a variation a of, of Julia's look. Jenna, thank you so much. So we're going to bring in Andrea now to show us a couple of other looks that we saw during the festival. One of them was Hilary Swank. Yep. So such a respected actress, and she always has such a very unique look to her. So you can see her hair sort of a loose wave that she had uh, during TIFF. And we've got your, your sort of manifestation of that here with Andrea. Yeah, well, we actually worked with Hillary for this event. Mm -hmm. So um, we were fortunate enough to style her hair. And, you know, Hillary is definitely not a diva. Yeah. She is so friendly, like we could, she could be a Canadian. She's oh, so super see, that friendly. that is a huge compliment. She could no, be a Canadian. She... That says a lot about somebody, but because well, we're, we're, we're you know, nice. We're friendly, right? Yeah, we are. Okay, that's a huge vote so, of confidence. So this I like look, that. I mean, it's just so beautiful, reminiscent of the 40s. It's simple, yeah. yet very, very glamorous, and so easy to achieve. Really, all you need is, is a curling iron, and once your hair is dry, you just, rather than taking the conventional approach of locking your hair in the curling iron, yeah. what, I, what I like to do is just take sections of hair, Mm -hmm. large sections this is not on but all I just want to show you is all you do is just wrap it around hold it for you know just 30 seconds and let it go give it a nice soft wave what difference does that make does it make the wave just a little bit softer it makes it it makes it a, a newer fresher wave it doesn't okay. look like a wave from the 80s. All right. Not so contrived. And then it's, it's a little just bit looser. Soft and beautiful, really, really sexy. So, another big star uh, that came through was Reese Witherspoon, and uh, she had her own look going on that we're going to show you how to recreate right now. So, it's sort of more of a side. Uh, the side look, we see it, we're seeing it a lot in side ponytail, side braids. She had, you know, Reese had such a fresh approach to a ponytail yeah. and it's really easy. So you take this hair that you've curled and waved and then all you really do is just start with one strand from the side and then just pick up hair any way you like. There's no real technique. You just twist it all in. Oh, there really is beautiful. technique though, Mark just Anthony. Like that. Don't even play and then modest take right now. All the hair. You know, I want to keep it really simple for you. Just grab yeah. all the hair. No special hairdressing magic. <laughs> Let's just have an elastic there. But so you do need some elastics and bobby pins. You do need an elastic. That'll be the magic. <clears throat> To and tie then, it around there. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's interesting. It is really easy to, to keep hair looking good if you put it to the side. I find if I have an event at night, I'll often ask Janice to do my hair in a side look because then I can at least sleep on the other side of my head, like take a little nap. 
but it's easier to maintain. It's just a matter of keeping it all in there at the side. So you might need a few bobby pins. Yeah, to you keep can do it. that. You can pop in a few bobby pins. Yeah. But I like to put the elastic in, especially if you're doing it yourself at oh, home. Oh, for sure. It secures it, makes it so easy. And then you just, you know, a soft hairspray. Give it a little just, spritz. Just work it through. All right. Well, Mark